Look at her showing off like, oh, this is a piece of cake. Give me the 50 pound dumbbells. Found on the elbows and shoulders? Yep. All right, those tucked nice and tight. Is that fine on that shoulder? <laughs> so just do about five of them. Lean and back, yep. So you're trying to get to like a 45 degree angle where you feel like you're getting stuck. But if you don't push hard enough, Marcy, he's gonna feel like he's gonna crush his face. Good, and you gotta switch off. All right, and back. That's the reaction I'm used to seeing. <laughs> so, so you, no, you were fine. You probably uh, just a difference in strength. So that right there for your boys. There you go. Perfect. You're just trying to keep the thighs squeezed tight, trying to keep the butt squeezed tight. Buddy, just lift your hips a little bit higher. Perfect. So you feel that light stretch? Yeah. Good. Now the straighter your knees, the deeper that stretch. The go. Yep. Bend the knees just a little bit though. Perfect. Like you felt it when you went down that way. Mm -hmm. so once you feel, once you get the feel, you know you know how to get it right because you'll know when you're doing it wrong. If you feel it in your low back, you know you're rounding over too much. Yeah, so you, it's, it's, it's matter how far. But <laughs> think about bringing them just right to the side of your chest, elbows in close, good, and pushing back up. You got it. Keep the keep the weights close. There you go. I say closer to your chest and shoulders when you go down. Uh, nutty professor. Yeah. Come on, Cletus. So, so, so se se separate the hands a little bit when you're coming down. Okay. Yeah, so all right, pushing up. There you go. You got it. Just do like two on each side. So go down with one arm. Good. Always keep that weight back over top of your head. Yeah, because it's going to want to creep forward. Perfect. Right beside the ears when you come down. That's it. You got it. And just remember, keep the elbows straight as you can, buddy. There you go. <laughs> no, you can turn them if you want. If you find that your shoulder's bugging you a lot, Marcy, though, the turning actually takes a little bit of stress off your up and down. Perfect. Yep, doesn't take much. You're always trying to get the hip higher than the knee, yep. So you're driving down, trying to push your heel into the ground. Not your toes, trying to push the heel. And switch up sides, see if you see a difference from one side to the other. Yeah, about the same. Okay. Feel pretty balanced, though? Let that butt, you want to feel that butt tap the floor. That's it. Yep. That's the best way to strengthen the butt. If butt person, you wouldn't do it on just one step. You you have to skip a step. So you could do them that way. You got them perfect. Always pushing down with the heel. Yeah. Perfect. Hands staying in front and lean back as you lift up, Marcy. That's it. Perfect. So all, only where your hands are even with the shoulders, not much higher. So if you see a reflection, don't go higher than the shoulders. That's just going to put more stress into your neck. And I can't have your neck being those tucked nice and tight. Is that fine on that shoulder? Yeah. 